What's up, y'all? Um, I'm just gonna do a quick video of my everyday makeup routine. If it, even if it's not everyday, it is um, mainly what I usually would do on my face. I already did my eyebrows because I don't have time to just really sit here and um, do the whole thing. But I did my eyebrows. I'm going to prime my face with Elf Illuminating Face Primer. Just real quick. And I'm sorry that um, I'm going to be quick. But if I put it up to the camera, please screenshot it. I know it's backwards, but whatever. So I'm just going to prime my face. Shouldn't even take me, should take me less than 20 minutes to do this. Because I've been doing this for the longest. So. And if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry again, but I got to put this on YouTube. So, yeah, I primed my face with Elf Face Illuminating uh, Illuminating Face Primer. And then... I'm going to spot conceal because that's what I usually do um, for my everyday look. I spot conceal because I just want to cover these base, these um, bump lines, these bump scars with LA Pro Concealer Color Fawn. And I'm just going to cover those because I don't wear foundation every day. And I don't even do um, the whole foundation face all the time. So I'm going to cover the dark spots and cover all up here. All the blemishes. So that's spot concealing. So I'm just covering all the dark spots with concealer. Which is called spot concealing. Again, this is my everyday. So, I'll talk as I can when I go. And then, with my foundation, I'm going to still conceal the same spots that I did I'm only going to put foundation in the areas that I actually really need it because my face is really even already and I hate like I said I hate the casket looking makeup I'm going fast because I know what I'm doing but um, so I'm going to evenly distribute the foundation and as you can see, it's covering most of my spots. This is not a full face, guys. This is my everyday makeup routine. This is not something I would do on somebody else, though. Because most of the time when people come to me, they want a full face done. You can see the difference. And because I'm not doing a full face once again, I am going to conceal my under eye with my own color um with a sephora brand toffee if y'all can see that it's toffee but it's a sephora brand and i'm going to conceal my under eyes with that just to cover any lines or wrinkles or anything like that i don't really have none i'm still youthful you know <laughs> but yeah and i'm going to turn my brothers back on 
But I'm gonna do that under here. And there. Hi everybody, if you do know me, hello. If you don't know me, hello still. But this is a quick everyday makeup tutorial. And because I've been doing this for a minute now, it's not going to take me. I am not contouring. Um, I'm not doing a whole full face. Just a little bit of coverage. I spot conceal. I put um, concealer under my eyes. A little bit of foundation where I needed it. A little bit where I needed it. I actually used HD Flawless Foundation from Absolute. Screenshot that if y'all see it. But yeah. So for my eyelids. I just want to add some color to it. Um, crayon box with tan and brown. Because it's every day, and I wanted I wanted a natural look anyway. So, since I want a natural look, I'm going to keep it brown. And then I'm going to use brown for my crease. <laughs> What's up, Shakira? Brown in my crease and on my lid. Tan for the outer part, brown for the lid and crease. I did not prime my eyes because I'm only using brown, which is natural. So that will be it. Um, the lashes I'm using. Um, what am I zooming in on? My face. I'm gonna try. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, so I have tan on my outer on my outer lid and then I have brown on my crease and my lid then my eyebrows already did that before anything and I use the box of crayons brown the colors I used was tan and brown for a natural look that's it now I'm going to put my eyelashes on. Before I put my eyelashes on, I actually outlined the top of my eyelid with Oh, here we go. I use Sephora the Sephora retractable waterproof eyeliner of my brothers again and then I um just outline the top just to make it a little dark Just to make it a little dark, as you can see. Then I'm going to go and put the glue on the eyelashes. You don't need a thin layer of glue, though. People think that you need a whole bunch of glue just to make it stick. No, that makes it even dry slower. Like, it will never dry if you put too much of this damn glue on there. It ain't even coming out. I think I used it all. There we go. Um, a thin layer is good. Just like that. 
Damn, I put it everywhere, sorry. Um, Here we go. And I'm going to sit that down and let it dry for a minute. Meanwhile, I'm going to make sure I got everything situated up here. And I don't have everything with me. But everything else is downstairs. Yeah. So... For the most part, this is all I really do to my face every day. Sometimes I might put blush on. Sometimes I might not. Today, I'm not putting the blush on. I'm not really going nowhere. Um, spot conceal. A little bit of foundation where I needed it at. Um, you can actually use a little bit of your own like lipstick just to put a color if you want to blush on your, um, on your face. But I'm not in the mood for none of that. Okay, here are your eyebrow tweezers. I do use bronzer. I use bronzer here, here, here. And it depends on where I actually want to feel like I'm, where I want to feel like real bronzy at. But for the most part, I do use it. But because it be so hot sometimes, or I don't be feeling like doing all that, I don't really do it. So, sometimes I use these. I don't even have the bronzer on me upstairs. But you have to put bronzer here where you use like your contour at. If you don't contour, you use your bronzer up here around your hairline. You use your bronzer around your jawline. But I'm going to put these lashes on real quick. Sometimes, for the most part, I usually use my finger, but just so y'all can see how they done, or how you use that little thingy there, I use that. And when you put lashes on, you want to make sure that the glue is actually sticky. They call it tacky in the makeup world, but you want to make sure that it's sticky so it'll stick right away once it get on your lat on your um lash line. And then when you do put it on, you want to press your lashes into the glue and into the lashes, the fake lash. Turn my brother's back on. And as you can see, it's on. Just like that. See? Right on the line. Right on the line. Um, the glue is I Envy by Kiss Strip Lash if Adhesive. I've been using this glue for a year now. This glue is actually good. And I'm gonna put this other lash that's other lash on. And like I said before, you got to make sure that the glue is tacky enough. If it's not, it's going to come right off. And then your lash is just going to be hanging there. So as you see, the lash is on. The lash is on and secure and correctly straight across your eyelid. It's still wet, but let it dry. And when you let it dry, when you let it dry, um... It'll dry clear. It's white right now, but it'll dry clear, as you can see on this one, as opposed to this one. The lashes are on. You press your lashes against the other lashes, and then you're done. Um, and then I'm going to outline it one more time with my pencil. 
That's it. If y'all don't know how to do lashes, practice makes perfect. That is it. Oh, you would actually do a wing today, right? All right. <laughs> um, today I am not doing. Usually I do a wing, and that's crazy because I was going. I wasn't gonna do a wing today. I'm probably not because I have to go. But um, my next my next one I'm gonna do a wing because my wing is my signature and. Um, I love wings. So as you can see, so next time when I do it, I'm I'm inform y'all that I'm gonna do a wing tutorial. Um, I suck that wings at first too, but they get better with time. Then you figure out where to put it at and everything like that. What's up? So lashes are on and it's dry. You still have to put mascara on your lashes. People who think you don't, you do. It blends your real lashes in with the other ones. And you want to fan out your real lashes. I've been chilling. I'm at the Franklin, if you didn't know. If you were there still. Um, I start fully in next week actually then I'm going to put some mascara underneath my eyes yeah, but I won't be there till 11 in the morning when I do start So, as you can see, when you put the mascara on, it just brings your eyes into an intense mode. <laughs> so then I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom. What's up, Steph? Thanks. If ever, if anybody don't know, right? Your eyes is what bring out your makeup. Okay, everything else still has to be done right, and everything has to be um, evenly evenly distributed through your face, throughout your face. But your eyes is what bring out the eyeshadow, the eyebrows, the lashes. You have to pick the right lashes for your eyes. Some people have universal eyes. Some people don't. So if you don't, you have to find the right lash that looks good on you. So as you can see, this is what I got on right now. And for my end, usually, um, I set my face. Oh, I don't even set my face yet. I put my, um, this is my favorite, okay? I put a highlighter on. And this is my favorite one. And I put it in all the places that I actually want to pop, okay? Thank you. This flare, yes, I love it. It's a natural flare. Natural natural look for your eyelashes, but like... <laughs> Hi, Sabrina. But like um, a little fuller. But Trophy Life is my favorite. Also, I have a favorite by Majesty Cosmetics, too. Oh, my God. I love that highlight. I just got to find it. I think... Oh, yes. 24 karat gold. 24 karat... 24 karat something. Stephanie on here. She can she can uh put that up there for y'all. But I put the the highlighter in the places that I want to pop. Which is there. You'll see it once I look up. See that? Yep. You see that? Yep, yep, yep. In the eyebrows. In the crease. This is my favorite, my favorite go-to. Like, if I really want my face to be popping. Popping but regular. This is, like, a natural look, okay? Nothing, 
No, this is highlighter. This is highlighter right here. Trophy wife. Trophy wife, I'm sorry. Trophy wife by Rihanna Fenty Beauty. Trophy wife is, is yeah. Um, but yeah, it's highlighter. And I put some at the middle of my forehead. Yeah, and it's 24 karat. 24K by Majesty Cosmetics. Yep, there we go. That's my favorite one too. When I first got that, I used that all the time. Then I forgot I had Trophy Wife. Then I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to um, use it all. But yeah, girl, yeah, guys. That's done. So I set my face with Ulta Beauty Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm going to get my. I purchased mostly everything at Sephora. And the 24K was from Majesty Cosmetics, Stephanie Wilson. Yeah. Yes, I got glow. And, oh, glow now. I like that. And I got glow res. Rose, um, rosy glow res. Rose gold from um, the crayon case. But I got everything else from Sephora. And because I'm on, I went natural today, I'm gonna use this color. Um, I don't even know the name of it. By Sephora though. Oh yeah, Sephora Rouge Shine. And 339 C, number 10. So I'm just gonna use that. And that is it. If y'all can see it, let me get some light. There we go. This is it. This is all I usually do. People think I got a whole full full face of makeup, and I really don't. All I got is I spot concealed a little bit of foundation. I did my eyebrows earlier. I got some highlighter, and that's it. And then I'm gonna go out. So thank you guys for tuning in. Next time, I will be doing a tutorial on um, a wing. And um, tomorrow I got a prom to do. I have hair and makeup to do. So, yes, thank you. I got way better with my natural glam and everything. Everything, actually. So everybody who support me, thank you. I love you guys. Thumbs up. Um, this will be posted on my YouTube, Dimples215, um, on YouTube. And make sure you guys subscribe and thumbs up, y'all. And um, thank you, Aunt Sabrina. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.